hallelujah, I'm telling you. All you gotta do is just take a moment because in a moment, God can do and change everything. He can transform in a moment. For the little widow, what happened? In a moment, she was coming for a word. She was given an instruction. Can I tell you that when you have an instruction from God, it's a plan to succeed. When God speaks an instruction to your life, he's giving you the direction into blessing and out of trouble. His blessing is so great that it will minister to you in your time of chaos. So many times we don't recognize we have what is needed to get out. Sometimes I have to remind myself that lack is nothing more than an opportunity for me to be creative, to enter in and begin to worship and allow the creativity of God to begin to manifest before me. Think about this. Here is a man by the name of Jacob. His son Joseph is born and he believes it's time for him to leave, but he doesn't want to leave Laban's house empty handed. So he begins to pray and God gives him a dream of the spotted, the speckled, and the dark. What does he do? He sees these three branches in his head and he begins to peel back their bark. And every time the strong came to mate, what did he do? He held it before those that were white, those that were brown, those that, that came before him. And when they were mating, he imagined that they would become what he envisioned. And in that very moment, can I tell you what happened? His flocks increased and Laban's decrease. We know that the kingdom of David is growing stronger and stronger. The kingdom of Saul grows weaker and weaker. How? By creativity. God has filled you with a creative spirit. Lack is nothing more than an opportunity for you to say, God, I trust you. Give me a witty idea. Give me an invention. Give me a plan that will lead to success. Show me. Show me what will be fruitful in this next season that I might invest into, that I might do, that leads me out of the land of trouble. We can't be afraid to trust the voice of God. When we trust his voice, he leads us to the place of the greater promise. He never fails us. I want to encourage you right now. Just take a moment, close your eyes. As Miss Juanita plays, I need you to begin to visualize your way out of your financial circumstance, your situation. Begin to visualize what it is that God is doing. Let him begin to show you plans, strategies, and ideas and say yes. When the faith comes, write it down. Say yes to God and begin to build out the plan. It will not fail you. It will not fail you. Father, I just thank you Jesus. that as we lift our hands and worship you, that you're filling the heart of your people with the wisdom needed for their next season. For the wisdom that is needed to lead them into the very place that you've destined and promised. Lord, we hold steadfast to the vision. We are a people of a cause. We have a word spoken by God that's written in our heart that we've come into agreement with. Father, a man without a cause is one that has exited the purpose of his life. He's left it behind, but today your word says, he who began a good work is faithful to complete it. I pray today that you would complete the work that you started, that you would begin to fulfill the dream and the desires, and Lord, that you would awaken it. You remind me of 2 Kings chapter 6 where the young man was cutting down the tree and the axe head fell off because he desired to build a bigger place. But when the dream was lost, his hope was deferred and his heart was downcast. But Father, we thank you that you have people in our lives just like Elisha who came and took the branch and cast it into the water, making the iron float and said, pick it up for yourself and the young man took it up father i pray today 
that you would surround us with a people that would speak words of hope and life that would sow or cast that that branch into the water and cause our dreams to rise we know lord that the tree is symbolic of the cross when we believe lord your word your cross it has the power to bring dead things to life i pray that you would bring the hidden things to the surface that you would give us the power to take it to grab hold of it and to live out the dream i thank you right now holy spirit for the breakthrough that is coming you know that that scripture says when the young man took it the word to take means to operate in victory today i want to let you know that as god begins to bring your dream to the surface as he begins to raise up a thing that you thought was dead and put it back in your heart then when the moment you take hold of it can i tell you what he's doing he is saying you've taken up the spirit of victory now it's your time i want to proclaim to you now is your time i hear the spirit of the lord say fear not this is the hour of god this is your moment to surge it is your season to move ahead to conquer and to overcome and operate in the victory that has been granted father we give you praise for the victory that has been granted to your people in jesus precious name hallelujah why don't you just take a moment and praise him? Just begin to thank him because in thanksgiving, it creates the fullness of joy. I thank you, Holy Spirit. We worship you in Jesus' precious name. say thank you for watching our content. 
I pray that you are uplifted and encouraged and that you would come back and continually be strengthened. Remember, one prophetic word can change a person's life forever. So if you just logged in and heard of us for the very first time, this word is for you. God's word never returns void. It will strengthen and sharpen. It will uplift and encourage and always it will impact your life and make a difference. Thank you for being part of the LIVG community. Walk in joy, live in his strength, and know we love you. Life is very good.